hey, tell me about your background. Where are you from? Oh. Today, we're going to take a deeper dive into the word background. You know, this is one of those words that's got layers, different meanings that all connect in interesting ways. So let's peel back those layers together. First up, you've got background music. Come on, you've been there before. Maybe you're sitting in a cafe trying to get some work done and there's a little jazz or some smooth tunes playing in the background. Now it's not stealing the show, it's just setting the mood, providing a bit of atmosphere without getting in your way. It's like the soundtrack of your moment just cruising along in the background. Next, let's say you're looking at a photo or maybe standing in front of a beautiful landscape and someone says, check out the mountains in the background. What are they talking about? Well, it's what's behind the main subject. It's not the star of the show, but it's there, framing the scene, giving it depth. It's like the unsung hero of the picture, always there, but not always noticed. Like those lights in the background, they're pretty cool. And then, of course, we come to someone's background. Now this one, it's all about your history, where you come from, the experiences that have shaped you. Maybe you grew up in a small town, or maybe you've got a background in engineering. Whatever it is, it's the foundation you're standing on today. It's what's behind you, but it's also what's pushing you forward, giving you perspective and guiding your steps. So, whether we're talking about music, scenery, or your life's journey, the word background is all about what's behind the scenes, what's quietly influencing the main event. It's like the wind beneath your wings, helping you soar without stealing the spotlight. So next time you hear the word background, think about all the ways it's working behind the scenes shaping the experience, but never demanding all the attention. But let's keep that in the back of our minds and remember, there's always more to a word than meets the eye. Keep practicing and soon enough, you'll be able to use background in all the right ways, no matter the context. Now, during this video, I've been teaching you guys some cool phrasal verbs, expressions, and idioms. Now I'm going to tell you about those and teach them to you. The first one we spoke about was peel back those layers. This means to explore a subject deeper, to go into it deeper, to find out more about it. Number two, stealing the show, attracting the most attention, being the most impressive. Number three, setting the mood, creating the right atmosphere or feeling. Number four, Framing the scene, providing a context or background that makes the most out of the main subject stand out. Unsung hero, someone or something that contributes greatly to a situation but is often overlooked. Number six, foundation you're standing on. The base or background that supports the current achievement. Pushing you forward, number seven motivating or driving someone towards progress. Number eight, behind the scenes, working or happening out of sight, not in the spotlight. Wind beneath your wings, a supportive force that helps you succeed or feel empowered. Number 10, keep that in the back of your mind to remember something as important or useful for your future. I hope you guys learned a bunch of stuff. People, take care of yourselves. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like, tell me about your background. People, I'm out.